sport thrives, doesn't it, on its classic rivalries. This tennis is about to parade over the next few hours. Two from its own treasury here in Melbourne Park. Semi-finals, the women's singles first, and they're down on court there. Martina Hingis and Monica Sellers. from that spot on the court against uh, Salas. Oh, gee, there's <laughs> a hint of determination there is. there about Salas. Oh, she's come out just throwing absolutely everything at uh, Hingis here. Hingis is just hanging on early in this match. Just scrambling, just defending. She did well. Salas leads three games to one. That's good. Smash there from Hingis. Pretty good log. And just reply, uh, relying on placement here, not trying to power the ball away. She knew the court was open. into attack there. 30, 40. Weathered the storm and uh, worked her right way into the net. Oh, lovely. Well, paid the penalty for not closing in there, Salas. Thought it, watch this, she hits this, stays there, stays right behind the service line. They've got no hope of picking up any angled shot there. The break back at last for Hingis to 3 all. And just good movement of the ball here from Hingis, side to side. And exposing that lack of mobility on this occasion. This is where Monica has trouble running out wide on that forehand side. So good comeback from Hingis, although the signs the last couple of games would be hard for Monica to keep up that level. Four games to three. Hingis leads four games to three. Well, Hingis has weathered the early storm. It was a fierce onslaught, barrage of winners, really. But the last couple of games, Monica's missing. Lovely instinctive player, Hingis, covers the exact right spot, and even though it's hit well by Salas, Hingis had it covered. Oh, she is going to continue to go for everything. 
15th. And breaks for 5 4. What a curve out. Looks on as the cheers seem mostly to be for uh, Monica Sellers. Come on, Monica. The urging of the crowd as Sellers steps up to serve for the first set, leading five games to four. Had the early break. And with that sort of aggression. This is a, uh, a terrific display by, yeah. by Sellers, there's no doubt. And the crowd really appreciate it too. Well, it's all on her racket, isn't it? Whether she wins or loses, she doesn't really worry too much about what Hingis is doing. If she can reach it, she is going for it. The serve is the best I've seen it for a long, long time. A couple of clean aces, but it's the quality of the serve overall that's made the difference. Set point. And another ace to finish. Six games to four. Sellers in 13 nine minutes. Got it, I think. Sellers looks certain to win that rally. She just couldn't finish her off. Some good defensive work there from Hingis, and then finally able to get in a winning position herself in the rally. Took a lot of hard work there. And she does. To love. Hingis leads two games to love. Perfect. That is superb hitting. Real frustration here now for Hingis. Wow. Well, there's the weakness in a game against the heavy hitters, the second serve. Triple break back point. The fastest serve, 160. Another well-placed first serve from Hingis sets up the point. She's nice missed, she's missed. It. Set it up perfectly. And then he looks worried. Deuce. As well she might be. I mean, her daughter's just scrambling and uh, hanging on here. Salas nearly threw herself off her feet. <laughs> A couple of those shots. Just eased off fractionally on the winning one. Well, 
Morris not in the right position there. So after the net cord, she needed to either move back to the baseline or to move well forward to the net. Towards the net, she stayed just behind the service line and uh, out of position. Ingus holds back from lap 30. She leads 4-1. Well, she plays without fear, no doubt about it. Lost the opening point with a double, but no thought of playing conservatively on the next point. Well, I've got to say, I didn't think that... Uh, Sellers would be able to uh, dictate in the way she has for a lot of the match. Yes, the question is, can she keep it up over uh, three sets? Oh. If she can, actually, it might only be two sets. Two doubles in this game, though, haven't helped. Faults have hurt it, two of them. Second serve here. Punished by Hingis. A break for 5 1. Now she's smart, isn't she? Shaped up as if to really drive this, and at the last moment just comes underneath the ball. Monica well behind the baseline. Placing a serve very well today, Hingis. She has to, of course, with these power returns, but she is getting him close to the lines. Sometimes <laughs> it's like being nailed to the backboard by Sellers. <laughs> I must say she's a bit disappointed with that, but she is really moving well in this match, uh, Martina Hingis. She has picked up some tremendously powerful drives and kept the ball in play. <laughs> and just by making uh, Sellers play one or two more shots in some of these rallies, it's... Uh, Drawing an error from her. And there's the placement again. That's been a big factor on her serve. Two games to love. Hingis taking the ball early. Yes, metering out a little yep. bit of uh, Seller's own treatment. Got it again. That's perfect. That was a tough shot. Sellers had sliced the ball. It was skidding. Here's the slice. Hingis has got to lift this up over the high part of the net. Great control. There's that sneaky little ace. Yeah. 
Serving is lead three games to one. So serving with great accuracy today, Martita Hingis. And the drop shots don't even have to be that good when you can see where she'd forced Hingis back to with the previous shot, well behind the baseline. Oh, yes. Another example of Hingis giving Sella some of her own medicine. Oh, she's actually hit 31 winners herself, which is a bit of a surprise because they're not hit with such huge gusto and flourish that the and power that the Salas winners seem to come with. Happy with her slice backhand there, just landed mid court and an easy put away. Defensive play from Martina Hingis. Martina Hingis, uh, the sellers eventually forcing the error. Game point. Well, that often happens, such a long and tough point previously that you see a short point the very next one from one or either player. One, yes. I think, was out. Exactly. Yeah. I think this is just indicating that. <laughs> There's that one. Long. So this is the last effort here, I think, for Salas. If she doesn't win this game. Great double break now for Martina Hingis. Four games to one in the deciding set. And just tightening up a little here. I think at 5-1, Hingis thought she was home. a little in the 5-1 game and mum knows it didn't seem to mind about going to 5-2 she was confident of serving it out but pretty negative game there and Hingis well she'll have to serve for it again five games to four Hingis another test coming And the crowd really appreciating this fight back from Salas. I think like us, they thought it was all over at 5-1. Uh, and they're really appreciating her efforts here, Monica Salas. Well, she's provided the crowd with their money's worth. Oh, Monica yes. Salas, no doubt about that, always does. So does Martina Hingis. 
It's been a terrific semi-final. Hingis has had the chance to put it away once and failed. And here she goes again, 5-4. To her, that first point. 15. And then the placement is back there on the second. More confidence to go for it. saw well neither can mum she saw Salas just moving in that direction thought I'd better aim a bit wider 15, 15. and missed it can you believe that looking skyward and she has a fine overhead never seen her miss an easier one than that shot from uh, Salas really I'm not sure why she would have played that she had to be positive tried a little slice forehand which is not a best shot match points for Martina Hingis Call on the baseline, but not queried by Hingis. So uh, obviously good. Courageous hitting from uh, Salas. It's out. She's into the final again. 